Hey guys, good evening. Hope you have been having an amazing day. I'm going to be showing you some stylescapes that I actually presented to a real life client last year. You might have seen it in my previous video when I talked about logos from 2019, but Gary Hair was this project and yeah, it was a great small business and it was mainly a business for shampoo and like hair products for women that, you know, want to grow, make the style of the hair, make it more curly and all those things. So I'm going to show you the deck that I presented. I don't actually have the video because I forgot to do it in the Zoom meeting because usually I save all my client meetings and I was going to show it to you, but I actually don't have it. So I'm really sorry, but next time I'll definitely have it. So you can see here, just start off with my branding and stuff, which just looks really neat and cool. Then what I wanted to do was highlight all the goals that we talked about, the objectives and some of the brand attributes and the positioning statements so we can refresh um, the client and not just go straight into the stylescapes. So talk a bit about the goal. As you can see here, very simple, just clean. Talk a bit about the brand values, you know, what they stand for, you know, what they want to portray in their product and in their branding. Attributes, so what is the type of personality and tone and voice? So, you know, friendly, natural, humorous, happy, those type of emotions when we're thinking about the, the design. Then I put the positioning statement here, as you can see here. Obviously, I don't want to lay it out like this next time. Next time, I just want to write, type it out without all the, the infillings and like the extra lines and things. Just it looks too confusing. So, but you can see the positioning statement there. So it reminds the client, okay, this is where we're seated in the market. And then what I wanted to do, I presented each stylescape one by one. Then I told, I told her to hold the feedback till the end. So just showed her, I zoomed in as in the meeting and just went through it and then went to the next one, next one, and then presented it at the end, all three. So this one, as I'll zoom out, you can see he went for a minimal look. This one was aimed at a bit of a, you know, a bit of mature, um, not too old though, um, crowd. You can see here, I put images and where I found the images, well, what's happening? Um, when I found the images, I got it from Pinterest and Google, um, even Behance and places like that. So you can see here, very minimal vibe, put some color, put a bit of patterns, even copied some icons that I got in the back. And obviously I didn't own all these images, I'm just cur curating images. And I got some logos here as well, and then some colors and stuff like that. So it was really cool, really fun to do these stylescapes. And it was actually, it was actually my first time presenting stylescapes as well. So keep that in mind whilst you're watching this. And then, okay, number two, so you can see still like a cutesy vibe. This was more whimsical, more fun. I was thinking of putting like illustrative elements here as you can see, but still keeping the labels really clean and timeless because one of the things they mentioned is that they want to have it modern and timeless. Then but what I can do is add a bit of um, whimsicalness but with the actual typography and using like fonts that are script fonts. Went for like a pinky light type of color palette and then you can see some applications here, some packaging and things like this. And some of these images are custom and some are not. Like if we look to the one on the right, I actually had to make that using Photoshop or Illustrator. And you know, I come up, I try and come up with like slogans or taglines or words that will be used in, in like marketing. And then put some like color overlay over the image just to give it some effect. So I'll go to the next one. And then bam, this one was more of a playful, more aimed at teenagers, more of a young vibe. And you can see here with the use of like patterns and and the typography and and as i'm talking to you sort of this was how i was talking to the client and really just guiding her through it and saying like and just communicating it with with using visual words and um and and yeah and also reminding of the the goal as well here and there and not trying to oversell it too much and then you can see here some package design over here some labels some examples which is really cool, some business cards and and playing around with some fonts as well, which is awesome. Then from this, what I did is I presented Stylescape 1, 2 and 3 all together. So it's like a recap and so they can see it all at once. So you can see I put all three and then at this stage, then I ask for feedback and I, I say and ask questions like what appealed to you, what stood out, um, which one can we cross off the board right now? And they'll say, oh, number three or two, we can cut that out and then just stick with the two ones. And then I'll start to ask like, okay, what elements stood out? Um, you know, what about this type of logo? Does this really, do you feel like this fits the target audience? So I'm constantly referencing back to the target audience and the objective, and then it should be agree or disagree or whatever. And then as she's giving me these tips, I'm actually adding, because it, I presented it in a PDF, I can honestly just add um, comments. So you can see, you can click comments here. And then I can go and add it in and, and all that stuff. 
So you can see here, I can click on the icon, click, and then type in a comment, hello, or whatever. And then I can save it. And then when I save this PDF, it will have all the comments so I can go type up notes as well, which is super handful and super useful. So, and then that's it. Thank you. And the meeting is done. So hopefully this was helpful. A quick presentation of how I presented Stylescapes. And keep in mind, this is actually my first time presenting it as well. So it was fun and it was a learning experience. And now I've done Stylescapes a couple times now and I'm getting better and better each time I do it. So thanks guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Subscribe, hit the like button and comment because it helps the video get seen and it also helps me grow on YouTube. I appreciate you guys. appreciate your support. Look forward to the next video. If you like seeing Stylescapes, let me know because I want to post more videos like this. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day. Catch ya.